sometimes it's not as obvious what will reduce with an index when a rational expression is in a radical form. We can change this by using the rules we know for indexes and, and, and exponents. We could rewrite the eighth root of x to the sixth y to the second simply by rewriting what's inside the radical and raise it to the one over eight, which is the index. We can then distribute the exponent through to each piece inside parentheses and get x to the six eighths, y to the two eighths. From here, since the exponents are not in their most reduced form, we can reduce those fraction, fractions and get x to the three-fourths and y to the one-fourth. Notice that both denominators now match. If we wanted to rewrite that with the denominator taken out so we can rewrite it as a radical once more. We could rewrite it as x to the third and y to the first, all raised to the one-fourth. You can always check to see if this is correct simple, simply by multiplying that fractional exponent back through to each exponent inside parentheses and see if you get back to this point. If you do, you've done it correctly. Since we now know what our index is, once again, we can rewrite it as the fourth root of x to the third, y to the first. So, once we've seen how to do one, to reduce the index, divide the index and the exponents by the greatest common factor. Without using rational exponents, we can simply look at the index and the exponents and see that the common factor between them is two. By dividing each piece by two, we get the fourth root of x to the third, y to the first. The hint is factor any numbers before you go further. So in example one, If we look at the index and the exponents, the common factor or the thing that they all have in common is three. If we divide 15 by three, we get five. If we divide three by three, we get one. If we divide nine by three, we get three. And if we divide six by three, we get two. Now that I've found the common factor, I can reduce my exponents and my index so it's in the lowest term. My new index is five. My new exponent for x is one, for y is three, and for z is two. In example two, we have 25 as our index, and 32 needs to be prime factored. If we prime factor 32, we get 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's go ahead and rewrite this 
with the helpful hint in place. Now that we've prime factored the number, let's go through and find the common factor between the index and all the exponents inside the radical. It looks like the common factor is 5. If I divide 25 by 5, I get 5. If I divide 5 by 5, I get 1. 10 by 5, I get 2. If I divide 5 by 5 again, I get 1. And if I divide 20 by 5, I get 4. Now that I've reduced that common factor, I can rewrite my radical with those reduced values. My index is now 5. I now have 2 to the first, a to the second, b to the first, and c to the fourth. And that's my final answer.